Hi, I'm Tara Green and I'm here to inform you about a very important spiritual event that will uplift the entire population of the Earth and it's happening on February 22nd, 2012. Now, I call this event the return of the starbird. Now, the starbird has been written about and prophesied in different ways by the Hopis, by the Mayans, by a man named Ken Carey. And if you were involved in the 1111, and I know a lot of you were, uh, the 1111 was started back in 1992 by a woman named Solara, and in her book she talks about the return of the starbird. And she talks about it as an unfolding consciousness. We're going into the heart of the dove. Now, I witnessed this event with two other people, um, February 22, 1979, in Isla Mujeres, Mexico, and we saw a star, a falling star, which turned and stopped in the middle of the sky, and it made the symbol of infinity. Now, I saw that very, very clearly, and then it got bigger, it came down to Earth, it took the form of a bird, still emitting starlight, so it was an actual star bird, with the head of a dove, that's how I saw it, and the wings of an eagle and it flew in over our heads and circled over the island, but when it came into the, away from the light, sorry, when it came into the light of the island, it turned into a jet black shadow. And the only people that could have seen it was us because we were tracking it and it turned around. And then the minute it went out of the light of the island, it pinged back into starlight and it flew off into the sky. Now I've been told by different channelers and resources that this bird was a messenger from Sirius. I've had different shamans from different traditions tell me that. I won't go into that right now. Uh, Sirius was worshipped by the Egyptians, of course. But for us right now, it represents to me the return of the feminine, and it is the most important energy at the beginning of 2012 that we need to tune into here. So if this resonates with you, if you've been seeing 1111 on your clocks, there's been a synchronicity of people since digital clocks, they always seem to notice 1111 or even multiples, 222, 333, 444, etc., etc. Now, the number 22 is a master number. So the number 22 in the tarot, there are 22 major letters in the Hebrew alphabet, a mystical language. The number 22 is the fool in the tarot. And it represents zero, which is nothing, the eternal round. And the number 22 is the fool, which represents infinity and enlightenment. And so the meaning, the symbol of seeing that starboard is that we were all enlightened beings. And the number two, of course, in the tarot is also the symbol of the high priestess. And she's the bringer of the dream. She's the go-between in the world. So that's exactly what we witnessed, a, a spiritual being, an entity who came into the material plane uh, that we saw. And so I want to impart that same magic, mystery, and miracle to you and invite you to join with me as I call upon a worldwide meditation so that we can all join and be one in the heart of this starbird, of being one unity consciousness, knowing that we are infinite beings. There will be a later higher octave event happening in 2012, and that's when Venus crosses the sun. We are experiencing the return of the divine feminine. So if this energy calls to you, I invite you to come and join me and pass this along so that we can all make this bigger and bigger and bigger and experience our own infinite beings and our starry origins and our spiritual selves. Thank you.